The most powerful uh, experience for me with the Pope came when he visited the favela, which is in the northern part of Rio. Um, this is something that popes had done before, visiting you know, a poor neighborhood uh, during a trip. Uh, so, the Pope Fran so Pope Francis chose this place, Virginia, I remember. Uh, and I was lucky enough to get uh, one of the media passes to actually accompany the Pope on, on his visit there. So I remember getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning uh, to try to catch the media bus that was leaving from just outside the media center off Copacabana Beach. And, uh, you know, there was 40 journalists or something like that, you know. Uh, the sun was just coming up. They bus us over to the, the northern part of uh, this very poor neighborhood. And I remember walking out and walking through the neighborhood, and, and it looked like a war zone. I mean, like, the buildings were decrepit. You know, there, there weren't a lot of people on the streets. Um, until we got to the actual strip where the Pope was going to be walking. So he was going to be walking through this uh, street, the main street in this favela, to a little soccer pitch, a little park in the center where they had a little sta uh, bleacher uh, and, and stage set up and he was going to address, uh, address the people of the favela. And when we got to the street, the entire street on both sides was lined with police officers and military people. And, um, you know, there was there hustle and bustle. People were setting up fences. But the pol I just remember the sheer number of security people. Uh, it was almost like they were, like, hand in hand, standing next to each other, lining the entire street. And not only that, there was about five helicopters flying around and also snipers on the roof. So we were looking up at the roof. We saw little groups of uh, military uh, uh, guys, you know, just searching, trying to keep the thing, you know, secure. And I thought, my gosh, you know. And when I was doing some research about the favela beforehand, I learned that the, the Rio government uh, had been basically sending in these SWAT teams to some of the favelas to try to take them over from drug lords who had control of these places. Uh, this was a whole initiative that, that the government uh, you know, had started. Uh, and, and this favela, Virginia, was, was one of the ones that had just recently been cleansed, so to speak, you know, so it, it was still kind of risky in that sense for the Pope to go there, but, but he was adamant about going there. So I had a chance to speak to some of the people who lived in the houses along the street that the Pope was going to walk across before he arrived, uh, and they were, so, um, they were so excited, looking forward to him visiting, but they had a real sense that he was one of them. And that didn't really make sense to me until I saw him walk down the street and actually encounter them. And I could just see in his eyes, like, he was very comfortable. And juxtaposed to his entourage, some of the bishops and the monsignors, even people from Brazil, looked kind of shocked and out of place, like they didn't know what to expect. But he was totally at home there, and uh, uh, it was real insight into, uh, you know, who, who he is, where he came from, and his priorities as well.